Hi everyone, Nina here. Last week we created this haunted house using the recent release from Doodlebug Design and today we are going to create trait bags also using the same release. I cut the bags uh, template using my Cricut machine and I'm gonna very quickly fast forward gonna show you how I'm gonna put one of the bags together and the rest I'm gonna do off camera just to save some time. You just score along the uh, lines where which the um, template creates for you and you're just gonna add on the flaps a very thin uh, double-sided tape. There we go and I'm going to add one handle on each side and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for all the bags. Here are all the bags and I'm gonna start with the first one. I'm gonna go slowly on the first bag and then I'm gonna go a little faster. I'll edit the repeating details so it uh, doesn't become a very long video. So here I'm going to uh, ground my images. I'm going to add one of the cardboard stickers that is a haunted house. And for it, I'm going to ground first with two different patterns from the pattern paper that is included in the release. And I used my um, hillside uh, stitch border from Lawn Fawn. I'm going to link it down below with all the materials and the tools that I used today in case you want to check any of them. And then I added, the, uh, I added my haunted house and I'm adding here... Uh, the circle that came in the chit chat I think in one of the ephemera packs and then uh, so it would look like a moon and then I added a couple stickers different sizes of bats this tag also come from the 6x6 pad you just need to separate them from each other and then I'm going to cut these corners so it would look like a tag And I'm going to uh, use my cropper dial to uh, cut the hole in the middle. Then I'm going to thread through uh, whatever matching colors of ribbons that I have. Then I'm doing the same thing uh, for the second bag. Again, grounding my uh, scene and then adding all the bits and pieces from the chit chat and from the odds and ends ephemera packs. Then I'm going to end up all of them with um, some embellishments using, using the stars, the enamel dots, and whatever else I can find that matches my scene. Then I'm going to add the tag. I'm going to do the same thing for all the bags and then, I, uh, and then I'm going to catch you by the end so you can see the flip through all of the these cute bags.
So here is the last bag. Let me bring everything that we finished so you can see them all together. Look how amazing the details are. So amazing. Look at the tag. Look at the details. Look at the enamel stickers. Everything is just awesome. I added uh, the top layer of almost all the images. I was adding it with a foam tape. So it will give different dimensions. They made you everything. The, look at the acetate pieces that came with the ephemera, the tags. They're all matching together, together with amazing colors. So pretty. I was creating them all for uh, my sons and my nephews. and I'm gonna fill it all with treats for them. I also love so much the template of the treat bag itself. I will leave you the link down below in the description of the temp so you can buy it and download it. I enjoyed so much creating this project with you guys today. I hope you did too. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!